In a sense, I agree with what Zapface says. Um, I agree with his view of reality being ultimately, uh, on the whole, insufficient. Um, phenomenal reality. But I disagree with him, or at least I question his view that um, the best we can do is allow ourselves to die off. <laughs> There's no evidence to this. There's no evidence that dying off is going to solve anything. And there's no evidence that there isn't something better. That's a logical fallacy. That's um, looking for evidence of absence, or, as I keep saying, it's an argument from ignorance. We don't see any obvious evidence of our ability to find something better, or of anything better, um, in front of us or around us so there mustn't be anything better than what we see that is not logical <laughs> and he prescribes um, in his last messiah that we simply allow ourselves to die off leave the world silent after ye well I seriously doubt I'm the first person to point this out but a lot of this antinatalist stuff has been thought about and worked out in enormous detail long before Zapfi or Benatar ever came along. Um, I often get heat for having this statue here in my house of this placid fellow. Um, but I don't really think that Buddhism is really the one that we should, the ism that we should be uh, comparing antinatalism to. I consider Jainism to be a lot more uh, similar to uh, to the antinatalist cosmology, to the view of life as just not worth living, uh, ultimately, and um, that uh, the only way out is kind of a dismal way out. Where I think Jainism and antinatalism part company is I think that the antinatalist, the modern antinatalist, would say that they would go with the evidence of absence. They would just sort of assume, because we don't have any evidence of anything better than everything that we see, there is nothing better. Whereas the Jains say there is something better. Um, or there might be, if you go looking for it. But the things you have to do to find it are so onerous that it might be easier to simply say oh to heck with life, coast through don't have kids, die off uh, the Jains say that's what most people do anyway although they do tend to throw kids uh, before, they, uh, before they leave this plane of existence um, but they would say that simply leaving the earth silent after you isn't going to solve anything. And not only that, it's not going to work. People are going to breed. The only way that, that humanity is uh, going to stop uh, existing is to either destroy itself or get destroyed from outside. Usually this is some sort of accident or some sort of undesired outcome. <clears throat> Otherwise, the wheel of existence, as they call it, samsara, is just going to keep turning. Um, as I say, I think that the that the Zapfian formula of just letting humanity peter out is A, not going to work, that'll never happen, and B, it, it takes too much on faith, i.e. it says, this is all there is. Um, I can't accept either one, first of all, again, for the same reason the Jains don't. I think that people are just going to continue to breed. And there's, trying to stop that is like trying to stop a freight train uh, with a fly swatter. It just isn't going to happen. Um, if people find that supporting a futile philosophy that they believe in is the best thing to do, I'm not going to argue against that. Um, but I, I'm not going to participate in it. Uh, secondly... I'm not willing to narrow my horizons to such a, what I consider, catastrophic extent by taking an axiom as a fact. By taking the idea that this is all that there is, um, because that's all that our 
normal apparatus can equip us to see or to perceive or to imagine that this is all there is. Um, we know already that axioms are not facts um, and that you can argue axioms and that you can argue the universe out of existence if you want to. That in and of itself should give us pause. Can science tell us everything? No, it can't. We've got to keep looking. Thank you.